think we have a loose connection in here. Alex, turn off the power. The most common defects with electrical outlets with a basic outlet tester, a couple tools will make you an expert so you won't have this problem again. Let's get to it. Hey, keep watching the whole video. At the end, we're actually gonna put two defects on one of these outlets and test it and see what it will display. I'm actually not sure what happens with these detectors when they have more than one defect on the same outlet. So a correctly wired outlet, if you look closely, the two prongs, there's a small one and a large slot. The long slot is the neutral and the small slot at the bottom, the circle, is the ground. Hot, neutral, ground. As long as you commit that to memory, you will always have the correctly wired outlets and be able to fix any circumstance. Now, when you're using electrical testers, well, there's actually a lot of different brands out there and everyone will have a different configuration of lights um, or as they call them lamps to show what is the correct configuration. So make sure you read the individual brand you have. In this outlet tester, one light on the left and one light on the right indicates a correctly wired outlet. So let's test this one two lamps on the left and go ahead and check that out. That means reverse polarity. Reverse polarity, that polarity refers to the hot and the neutral. So when we pull this and check it, we're gonna find that these are swapped. They're backwards. That does make a difference for safety, for sensitive electronic equipment. This is a common defect. You do wanna correct that. The hot and the neutral must be connected to the right side of the outlet. The black wire will be the gold screw and the white neutral wire will be on the silver screw. This next one, one lamp on the right, it's showing open neutral. So that means we don't have a connection here on the neutral side. Now open in electrical terms just means not connected. If you think about it, like on a switch, there's no such thing as on or off, they're simply open or closed. An open switch has a broken gap, means no current is flowing. So if your tester is telling you you have an open condition, it means there's not a connection back there. Few things might have happened. The wire may have come loose, it may have snapped, it may have burnt out, or somebody just installed it incorrectly and you have to fix that. Okay, this is a common one. One lamp on the left shows open ground. Now that's meaning the bottom one here is not connected. Open grounds are very common. Homes built before the 1960s per the National Electrical Code did not have grounding required. So a lot of old homes were two-pronged. Think about your grandmother's house two-prong ungrounded outlets that's inconvenient. Later, a homeowner will put in three-prong outlet, but it's not connected to grounding, so it's deceiving, it's tricking you. You do want to correct that condition. There's a few different ways you can do that. Two lamps to the right. That means hot and ground reversed. Okay, that's a pretty dangerous one. You don't want to mess around. That means the black hot wire is actually connected right here to the ground wire. So you're going to have current on your grounding system of your house that definitely can shock somebody. That's a big no-no. You do want to correct that right away. Okay, apparently this one we have a completely dead outlet. All lamps off, open hot. That means the hot wire has simply come disconnected. Now when you pull this to, to diagnose that why you have a dead outlet, it could be in this outlet, but also it could be in an outlet somewhere else in the room or an adjacent room that's feeding this outlet. This dead outlet might be downstream of another outlet that lost power. So you have to start tracing backwards and find the loose open hot connection. One lamp in the middle. So this one has current on the hot neutral. We'll pull all these and we'll start correcting these right away. Okay, this was one of the outlets that was marked as reverse polarity. And if you look indeed, we have the white neutral wire on the gold screw, that is backwards. That is a backwards wired outlet. So to correct that, it's gonna be simple. You're literally just gonna swap these positions. When you're putting a wire into a screw, make sure to go in clockwise. If you go in clockwise, it will wind that wire correctly, keep it tight. If you mess that up, and go counterclockwise, it will actually unwind the wire. Okay, now with the black wire on the gold screw, some people call it B for brass, B for black, and the white neutral wire on the silver screw, you are good to go. Of course, always turn off the power when you're working with outlets. We do have the power back on now, and I'm just gonna safely try to test it here. And look at that, two lamps on left and right means correctly wired outlet. You can securely put that one back in place. So I'm double checking the instructions for this outlet tester. And over here on the note side of the instructions, it says right here, second from the bottom, 
will not detect a combination of defects. Okay, so these outlet testers are fairly simple, straightforward, very reliable. However, they're only going to be able to notify you of one defect. So we have a mystery outlet here. We have two different defects. In fact, they're the most common defects I see day in and day out in people's homes. There's an open ground, meaning that the third prong is not connected. Uh, say it's an older house with no ground. And there's reverse polarity. The homeowner reversed the black and the white wire. Let's go ahead and test that with a live outlet and see how it displays. Okay, left lamp is showing open ground. Let's check the bottom. They should be tied together, should be exactly the same. And yes, once again, it's showing open ground. I think what's happening is the inner circuitry in these outlets is designed to only show you one defect at a time. So here with two legitimate different defects, it has to prioritize which one to show you, which one's more important. In this case, the open ground is considered more important as it's unsafe. Let's pull it and verify what's going on behind the scenes. Okay, just like I suspected, the white wires on the brass screw, that's wrong. The black wires on the silver screw, that's wrong. So reverse polarity, homeowner hooked it up backwards, but it only displayed open ground. There's no ground wire connected to the ground screw. So as long as you go through and you know to always connect your black wires to the small slot brass screw, the white wires to the silver larger slot, and the ground wires to your green screw, green always indicates ground, which is safety then you should buy outlet testers that will make your life a lot easier. You'll be a lot more competent with diagnosing outlet problems and electrical problems. Hey, let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. I know you can do it yourself.